Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to a, another video. You join me today on a very rainy and miserable day. I'm joined with Ben and his A35 AMG. Now, this car, I've actually been pestering you to do a video for quite a while really. Um, mainly because the A35s, they're, they're so new, especially to the market here in the UK, yet yours is probably one of the fastest in the UK, if, if not the fastest. So I was like, yep, yeah, got to do a video um, because I've experienced a stock car, a very stock car, uh, which I was actually quite impressed about. I love the A35, the interior especially, seeing as this one is pretty heavily modified. I thought it was a bit of a no-brainer. So I think as normal, we'll run some B-roll and then we'll get Ben here to run around the car so we can learn a little bit more about it. And then we should head out onto the roads and see what the things got. So this is my uh, 2019 uh, Mercedes-Benz AMG A35. Um, it's still quite a new car, so there isn't really a lot out there to kind of modify, um, but you can do the usual on it. Um, so at the moment, uh, aesthetically, um, I've swapped the front grille out for a Pan American grill. Um, it's pretty standard, quite a lot of people do that now. Um, you can get the chrome finish as well, which looks like the A45S. Um, but the black looks quite good. Um, replacement AMG badge as well. Um, the uh, wheels have been swapped out for Ispiri wheels, 19 inch, um, mm -hmm. FR P's, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember all the mods are on yeah. it. <laughs> um, uh, green calipers, um, completely resprayed. Um, a few stickers here and there to kind of rep um, yeah. kind of who it is. Keep the green brand. Um, so the green calipers are there. I do love these wheels actually. I don't know what, I've seen them on a car before, but I, I'm a big fan of like multi-spoke wheels like that. Yeah, yeah. They do um, look good. They're very similar to rotiforms. Yes. Uh, and yeah, rotiforms I are mean. quite common on, yeah. on bag cars. Is it lowered at all? No, it? not it's at not. the moment. Um, that, is, that is one of the next steps. I'm just not <laughs> sure which step to take really. Um, no, I, that actually sits really nicely seeing it as it's... Yeah. Um, when you see it on stand. 20s, a friend of mine's got 20s, and yeah. it makes a big difference, but obviously because of the offset, it sits slightly wider. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Cool. They still look nice. Yeah, definitely. Good. So as for aero, you've obviously got the, the factory aero pack on it, yeah. Um, yeah. which I think is a no-brainer. It just makes it look so, so cool. You've got the canards on the front, and then this big old wing on the back. Yeah, it's... It's a no-brainer, as you say. <laughs> yeah. If you don't get it, I mean, I just think it's personal choice, really. Yeah, it yeah. Down to. It's got to be a bit leery, I guess, and it? it's an AMG. Um, yeah, you've got to make it. Otherwise, in the future, as a lot of Ford owners do, they'll buy the original as it is, hmm. and then they'll whack, throw a whack, whack green, yeah, massive yeah, ring yeah, on yeah. it. And is it over the top? I don't know. But <laughs> I, think I think they get it bang on every yeah, time. Yeah. As for um, the exhaust, I think that's probably one of the biggest talking points of this one. <laughs> yeah, quite, <laughs> quite a bit. Um, the tips are quite new on actually, because um, I bought the, uh, the exhaust and then threw the tips on afterwards because there's a weight in this for them. Okay, yeah. Um, so I've got is it straight through Miltech system. Yes. Much. Um, so it's a GPF delete, resonator, mm -hmm. bypass. Everything. Um, straight pipe from the cat. The whole hog. Yep. Yeah. And one of my biggest issues with the A35, and I'm sure yours was as well, was the sound because of the GPF. Yeah. Um, the dreaded particulate filter. Yeah. And actually, I'm a big fan of these tips because it, 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 what, it's, they're four tips rather than two that you got on the standard system. So yeah. that's kind of A45 ish. Yeah, yeah. Which... Um, I saw a picture the other day of an A45S from the back mm. again as they keep popping up. Yeah. Um, and it does look very similar to it now. <laughs> it does look very similar. Um, I, I, it's it's such as life with cars and, mm. and manufacturers. They'll make it to the extent that they want to, and then people will always change something. Yeah, yeah. So, um, this diffuser down here is that is that part of the error? Yeah, yeah. Part of the error. Really? Oh, that looks interesting. Um, it's nothing styling wise has been done to it except for the tips, calipers, yep. wheels, um, and a few little kind of mm. d chromes here, there, yeah, yeah. and everywhere. Yeah, and like the badges, just a little bits like that. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, is this, is this got spaces on it? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, they, yeah. I was going to say, if that was standard. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, that probably why it sits it so just, well then. It just sits flush, I think. Yeah. I might need to swap the spacers because it's got 10 mil spacers on the front, 15 on the back. Okay, yeah. Um, for any owners that do have an A35, if you are planning on putting 8.5J wheels on, you will need 10 mil spacers. <laughs> <laughs> because the calipers on the front are six pots and here. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, big old brakes. Now, the little MSL badge probably gives uh, a, a little clue as to <laughs> yeah, uh, some other stuff we've done. Yeah. So it, it's tuned as well. Yes. Yeah. Stage one? Yep, stage, stage one. one, 379 brake. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was 334 wheel horsepower. That's not bad. Um, the funny thing about it is a lot of people think 306 PS, 302 mm. brake horsepower. Yeah. Um, a lot of these cars have been dynoed now and they're running between 330 and 340. Stock? Stock, yeah. Seriously? Yes. I suppose every every car, they always undervalue the, the horsepower, but that's a that's a lot. It's a huge difference. Um, I mean, <laughs> me being the kind of person that I am, I'll always question, is the dyno right? <laughs> because it, yeah. that is a talking point that everyone can talk about. Um, but as far as I know, MSL's four-wheel drive dyno is mm. reputable. Yeah, um, and they tune all Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty well known in, in the, the UK world. borderline. They're very well known for yeah, it, yeah. Um, and and VAG cars as well. But I'm very impressed with what they've done. Mm. Um, the map is incredibly progressive. Pulls all the way to the red line, yeah. um, which we'll experience <laughs> in <soon>. a bit. <laughs> um, and the uh, the race mode launch control is silly now, very, very silly. It. What is it to 60? Do you know? Um, you I don't know yet. You don't know, okay. But that is one thing that I have planned to go to Santa Pod and yeah. do. Do it properly. Um, which we might talk about at some point, maybe. Okay. Um, but, uh, but they're standard there, what, four and a half, I think? 4.7. 4.7, okay. Yeah. So you're probably, you might even be under four. Possibly. Maybe, a, maybe. early fours. Um, someone has said uh, that they have 370 brake horsepower mm -hmm. and they've done 3.9. Really? Yeah. Crikey. Okay. So well, that's interesting. Um, Very okay, interesting. The nine, the nine brake horsepower is not going to make <laughs> yeah, much difference, yeah. but it'll be close to that, which is actually quite shocking, I yeah, think. Yeah. That's, um, that is crazy. Considering, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Actually, there's one strange thing that I find about these cars because um, every single car I've had has mm. a... Um, front lying intercooler okay um, yeah yeah we'll see what happens, <laughs> see what happens let's have a little look inside this is what completely standing in here at the yeah. moment i guess but just the interior of these things i yeah. just love them they are stunning they are amazing they've absolutely smashed it and look in there we've got like a double screen fully digital everything like that it kind of reminds me of the e63 especially the wheel yeah because that's yeah. kind of where that wheel kind of started yeah, they're, maybe. they're all all Mercedes cars are opting this design feature yeah. now. Um, even the even the baby A and what baby AMGs like this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the babiest of all AMGs. Yeah, no, but it's it's definitely not one to be laughed at, especially <laughs> especially running this car. Should we have a little look under the bonnet as well? Yeah, sure. So under here, you're saying that you haven't really done well. There's nothing visual that you can see, at least, um, because it's not running an intercooler or intake no, or anything. No, the um, there are no companies at the moment that have done intakes. Yeah. Um, you can get a pipe across panel filter replacement, mm -hmm. um, but that's just literally replacing the panel yeah, filter. Yeah. Um, other than that, I know that Forge are working on an intercooler, yep. and it might be worth showing that there's no intercooler. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, yeah. There's no intercooler, there's just the radiator. Just the radiator, um, yeah. Because all the cooling goes through here. Ah, really. interesting. It's a good looking engine bay, actually. Yeah. I'll give them that. Yeah. It Considering look um, the look of the A45 AMG yeah. engine yeah. bay before from the mm. W176, yeah. the previous uh, iteration. Uh, it's beautiful actually yeah, to look yeah. at, um, but they've done really well considering how compact they've made it without yeah. having to put a whacking great intercooler on. Yeah, the definitely. You need to um, you need to make that a green stripe instead of red. Yeah, there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> to yeah, match yeah, it with yeah. everything else. <laughs> Not honestly, oh. these calipers they make a massive difference. You know, yeah. it almost you don't even need like stripes or anything like that because when you look at it from this angle, that's all you see. Yeah, because they're just so bright. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. I anyway, we're getting something else stripe wise but we'll see. yeah okay yeah well i suppose a build like this like we were saying is is never 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 really complete but anyway i think that's uh we pretty much learned everything about it now yeah. uh before we get some more horrendous weather i think should we uh should we start it up and uh, yeah. go for a blast see what this thing's got <laughs> <laughs>
opportunities need to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> if they want to do anything with me, then they've got that option of having a car yeah. that's already modded yeah. um, to suit it to kind of any sort of requirements. Mm. Yeah. So obviously this is stage one now. Stage two, I imagine, is probably going to be 450. With a decal. With a decal, I yeah. I think so. Would you? Um, 440, 450. Yeah. Um, I know that the A45 yeah. originally, when it was stage one, was about four, between 420 and 440, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, so they are a machine. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to kind of make a joke now and say, yay, we've come up to a tractor. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and we genuinely have. <laughs> <laughs> we were making a joke actually before filming saying, God, why, why aren't we down down my way because there's so many speed campers here and now all the tractors have come up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But even still, like in these conditions, we're in what, the, like, the harshest setting. It's it's still dailyable. Yeah. Do you definitely. daily? Yeah, yeah. You do? It's my daily, yeah. yeah. Fair play. Fair play. Um, we'll see what happens in the future, but it is the car that I plan on keeping for a long period of time. Yeah. Um, it's going to take a while for it to be out of date, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that dash, is this is the one where you can change it all into yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's all completely digital. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, Mercedes, you can't deny, have absolutely nailed the interior of this. Oh, God! <laughs> what? I was raining for No! <laughs> you said I was going to do that yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, for those who don't know, this has what, like, voice command system? Yeah. yeah so you so, basically talk to it. Yeah, so if you say the brand of the car and I've, I've, the I've dreaded it, word like, yeah, the dreaded word yes um then you're gonna get kind of asked in a, in a siri alexa-esque way of oh no everyone's <laughs> siris and alexas yeah. are going off and watching the video now yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah uh, it's it's good it's mm. very very good um and i'll i'll actually say to mercedes well done because it helps so much in terms of daily driving if you're yes, there in a situation where I've come from a manual. I, I yeah. drove manuals before this, yeah. um, and the movement from manual to auto has been so streamlined um, to the point of manual, you know, you crunch your gear, you're looking down here. The, the classic learner thing to do is to look down when you miss a gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so they've, having an auto that keeps your eyes on the road, mm. and you know, we can all say safety first, but keeping your eyes on the road, it does the same thing. You can literally turn around and say, Hello. So where's the nearest? Where's the nearest? Wherever. Yeah. It will, it will show you. Can it even do stuff like the climate control? Can you literally say it? I to, think to so. That? I haven't tried. Those it. are the only buttons that you got there, I guess. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, I haven't tried it. I think so. Yeah. It is clever. It is clever. Albeit sometimes quite annoying in like this situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's usually why I say AMG or A35 or Merc. Yeah. Or Merc. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't say the full. Anyway, I think we should probably cut to when we get past this flipping tractor and then we can uh, open it up a little bit more. Absolutely typical, I'll tell you. Like we said, it's almost like some sort of 
sort of sensor. You rev it when it's stationary and it just won't do anything. Whereas now you get all the pops and bangs in the world. <laughs>